Hi everyone, welcome to the session once again. You might have observed so many changes around you. Some changes are permanent and some changes are temporary. So in this lesson, let us try to understand why do substances take permanent change. So here the basic reason here is the substances undergo chemical reaction. Chemical reaction. That means one substance may be changing into new substances, different substances or different substances put together may bring new substance. So when an object is undergoing permanent change, a new substance is formed entirely different from the old substances. When the change goes in this way, we call this change as permanent change and the reaction took place between them is called chemical reactions. Chemical reactions are usually based on the formation of the products. It is classified into four different types. Chemical combination, decomposition, displacement reaction and double displacement reaction. You might have observed when calcium is reacting with oxygen that is quick lime is added with water calcium hydroxide is formed a new substance is formed it has new characteristic than the calcium oxide the quick lime or the water a new substance is formed similarly sometimes you might have seen do you know water how did the water form what is the major composition in the water in water Hydrogen and oxygen are the major components. Hydrogen combines with oxygen to form water. So hydrogen is a gas, oxygen is also a gas, but when these two combine, what happened? A new substance liquid is formed. Water has neither the characteristic of hydrogen or the oxygen. But do you believe that really hydrogen and oxygen form the water? Let us do a simple experiment to see water can be decomposed into two different gases with a simple arrangement. The material what we use for this is a beaker, two pencil lids, pencils which are sharpened to get the lids out because graphite is a good conductor of electricity and I used two crocodile clips. Now you observe the beaker. These crocodile clips are not connected to the graphite rods. Do you observe any change at the graphite rods and which are in the water? Obviously you did not observe anything. Now what shall we do? Just I am connecting this crocodile clips to the graphite rods here or here pencil leads. So you observe for some time. So now you see a battery is giving electricity. So current is passing from here to here but the circuit is open here. The circuit is open here. These two are not connected, therefore electric circuit is not complete. That means current should not pass through this water. But you observe, keenly observe what happens. See, do you observe any bubbles which are coming emitted from the graphite rods here, pencil leads? Air bubbles are coming, you see. If you observe at one terminal, more bubbles are coming. At another terminal, less bubbles are coming. That means hydrogen gas, the bubbles are hydrogen gas bubbles. And at the terminal where less bubbles are coming, it is oxygen gas. See, water is the composition of hydrogen and oxygen. When electricity passed through this, what happened? This H2O, hydrogen and oxygen, is decomposed into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. 
the permanent change took, took place. So in this way, we can say that due to the chemical reaction, new substances are formed. Can you observe the same type of things in day to day life? The same thing can be seen. The electrolysis of water can be seen in different way also. Just here I put the electrodes downwards. So the bubbles, if it is possible we can collect the bubbles that is gases, two different gases, oxygen at this terminal and uh, hydrogen at this terminal can be done by using voltaic cell. That what is, just two electrodes will be there and we pour some water and later take two test tubes, fill them completely to the brim and close with finger or uh, invert those test tubes on the electrodes. Now you connect that to the current, uh, the flow of current. Then what happens, the bubbles goes up, so the air goes up, then water comes down. After some time easily you can see that at one test tube, if the length of the air is 1 cm, in another test tube, length of the air or gas will be half cm. The clearly it, is, it shows that oxygen and hydrogen combined it in 1 is to 2 ratio. Two molecules of hydrogen is combining with one molecule of oxygen to form water. See such a beautiful thing. Hydrogen is a gas and oxygen is also gas but the combination gives the life uh, drug, uh, life giving uh, substance for us to live in. Water is the solution. In this way we can say that when chemical reaction takes place, new substances are formed. But here in this reaction, water can be decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen. But when hydrogen and oxygen combine together, to form water molecule. See, here chemical reaction is reversible. So products are changing into reactants and reactions are changing into products. So this type of reactions are said to be reversible reactions. So reactions are on the either side. So this type of reactions are said to be re reversible reactions. Now what you are supposed to do is collect the information regarding more reactions based on the chemical decomposition. Chemical decomposition. Here water is decomposed to hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. Similarly, one more uh, example I will give you. Calcium carbonate. Usually we say it is a marble, marble stone. When marble stones are heated to the high temperatures, do you know what happens? Yes. Calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gases are evolved. Calcium oxide is a lime, white wash, we usually we used to wash the walls and carbon dioxide gas. Here also a chemical decomposition reaction has taken place. Similarly, collect the information regarding the chemical decompositions. Thank you.